Hello there, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com, here with the second most horrible Beethoven concerto record ever made. Isn't that exciting? I mean, you know, this is the kind of stuff I live for. It really is. It's, it's this one. Here it is on Harmonia Mundi. It's Christian Bezeidenhut with the, uh, let's see, Freiburg Baroque Orchestra, sounding like its atrocious self in music that's not Baroque, conducted pointlessly by a Pablo Harris Casado. Now, this particular atrocity actually operates on numerous levels. First, there is the overall stupidity of the conception. You don't need a conductor with a Baroque orchestra. You know what I mean? They didn't have conductors in the Baroque orchestra days. And so to have a modern conductor futzing around with the music, and oh, does he futz, 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 futz. You know, when the orchestra comes in, you know, after the the piano bit is with yum, bum, 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 ba, da, 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 simple phrase. What can you do with it? Oh, you can like, hit the dynamics and do crescendos and decrescendos and bloop around and oh, it's, there's a limitless number of stupid opportunities that you can impose yourself on the music and make it very, very, very clear that you're not going to let anything alone. And and so that's the conducting. The conducting is horrible. And oh, by the way, you get the um, the Pr uh, Prometheus overture and the and the Coriolan overture as considerable bonuses, bringing the CD up to a whopping 45 minutes. Oh boy. Of course, you know, 45 minutes of crappy music making, it's like that, the joke, you know, about the elderly Jewish couple that's leaving the early bird special in Florida. And, you know, the, the wife turns to the husband and says, how was your dinner? And he says, oh, it was horrible. And she turns to him, he turns to her and says, how was yours? And she says, oh, it was horrible. And such small portions Hmm. Right? But no, why is this so terrible? Why is this such a grotesquerie, such a scandal, a shanda, an absolute abortion of a Beethoven performance? Well, I have sitting here, wait a minute, wait a minute. See, let's get this. My all-time worst Beethoven piano concerto cycle, which this is competing, competing, competing to equal. Here it is. Remember this? Remember this horror show? This is this is Arthur Arthur Schunderverd Schunderverd with Christophori. This is the one where they're using single strings and recording it in what sounds like a, somebody's bathroom on a on a clanky little 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 forte piano thing. Well, here they have sort of an orchestra, kind of an orchestra, and a a what a friend of mine calls a in German, a Klopflugel, or I called it a Klopflugel, actually. He called it a Klop thing. But I said, it's a Klopflugel. It's, a, it's an authentic Klopflugel. It's a crappy sounding replica of a Graf Forte piano. Why anyone would play on such a thing, I have no idea. There are gorgeous sounding Forte pianos out there. Gorgeous. See, I'm sitting up, my head's disappearing. That's how annoyed I get with this. You know, really, there are beautiful historical instruments out there. There are absolutely lovely. So why then are they wasting our time on crappy sounding historical instruments? I don't know. So you have a needless conductor, the Freiburg Baroque Orchestra, which should never play anything that's not Baroque, basically. They, they sound awful most of the time. Of course, with other conductors, they've sounded better, but for some reason they don't hear. And then, oh, I didn't even talk yet about, about Beseidenhut here, Beseidenhut, Beseidenhut, that's I think how you pronounce it. I don't really care, but you know, it would be kind of funny if I got close to getting it right. Actually, I love the fact that we have Schindervur doing Harid version one and Beseidenhut doing Harid version two. Maybe it's a, you know, sort of Flemish, Belgian, Nederlandish, South African, Afrikaner kind of conspiracy to destroy Beethoven on the occasion of his anniversary year. Because, you know, there really ought to be like 
the the Beethoven atrocity piano duet. Can you imagine if they did like they could massacre the entire forehand piano repertoire and nobody could pronounce them? The Schindervird Beseidenhut duet duo 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 Beseidenhut Schindervird Schindervert Beseidenhut. Oh, it could just be un the possibilities are limitless, aren't they? So what's wrong with this guy? Well, where do we start? First of all, he has one idea, one interpretive idea. In a word, arpeggiate. Why play a chord when you can break the chord? So the very opening of the concerto is instead of bum, 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 right? It's bum, which is hard to do when you only have like four notes to do it with. You know what I mean? but it's he spreads it out as much as he possibly can, which means that you really have no idea when he's playing what Beethoven actually wrote, because remember at the top of the phrase, it's da 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 bum 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 Well, Beethoven actually wrote that. All of the other things he does, Beethoven didn't write, but you can't tell. I mean, the whole point of ornamenting a melodic line fundamentally is that you can tell the difference between what the melody is and what the ornaments are. So you can understand the difference between what he wrote and what the performer is embellishing. But when you start with an embellishment, you, you have no idea. Anyway, that was even the, from the very beginning, you know you're in trouble. But the worst thing, the greatest atrocity in the whole performance is the slow movement. Now, as you know, the slow movement has been compared to to Orpheus taming the Furies. Well, I mean, it's a stupid comparison, and it wasn't Beethoven's, and he had no idea about any of that stuff, that he might have been writing that in his concerto. But I think they've decided that that's what they're going to do. They're going to make it as programmatic as they possibly can. So first of all, you have horribly exaggerated string articulation by Mr. Herras Casado. You know, it's bam! like that and then the piano comes in well orpheus as we know played the harp so why play a piano when you can do a harp thing so instead of that beautiful chorale it's supposed to sound like a chorale why because chorales are religious they're spiritual they have that that beautiful calming influence no, 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 no. He can arpeggiate. It can go like that. That's what he does. That's what he does. I mean, if you're an insider member, you can go listen to a horrifying sample, you know, of this. It, 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 will, it will absolutely, it, you know, ruin your life. But it's there. So it, it's atrocious. It's just atrocious. I mean... You know, these are these are performances that are are just collections of of stupid, unthinking, witless mannerisms. That's what they are. I mean, it would really be hard to imagine performers performances of this music that are so thoughtlessly unintelligent and so determined to exalt the performer at the expense of the composer. And that is what is happening here. Let's not make any mistake about it. There's, 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 there's so little serious thought going into this. And, of course, this has a lengthy, lengthy liner note from Mr. Bezoidenhut, um, all about his, you know, interpretation. And what is it about? It's all about, you know, which forte piano he's going to use and, and which edition he's going to use and whether he's going to use the critical edition or whether he's going to use the, the first edition because of the articulation in the first edition. All of these things that don't matter, quite frankly, that, that hardly matter at all. Because if, if the interpreter is a moron, then it doesn't matter what edition or what instrument or what anything else you're, you use. It just doesn't matter. <laughs> it's going to sound like a moronic performance. <laughs> and so there it is. <laughs> Just awful, awful, absolutely awful, folks. Avoid it like COVID-19. That's my suggestion. It really is. 
Let's keep on listening to Beethoven piano concertos in this wonderful Beethoven year. There are so many good ones, and I'll be talking about many of them. I already have, and there are more coming. There's some beautiful ones coming. I promise you that. This is not one of them. Thank you. Take care.